Open Tiger Tutorials first lesson. Uh, today I'm going to be teaching you about how to make a sidebar. Uh, we're going to be making the vertical and the horizontal sidebar here. So what you want to do to start off is you want to open up your HTML editor. In this case I'm going to be using Dreamweaver. And you're going to create the bones of the layout. An unordered list is what I'm going to be using for this purpose. Um, and then you have to make a list item. And then we're going to make this a link. So you're going to put an href, and then you're going to make it index, or whatever page you want it to link to. And of course, um, these links for the pages, they can be anything you put on your site. So there you did it. Um, I'm going to have some extra ones here. I'm going to put them in real quick. One sec. All right, so there we go. So now we have the home, news, and about. Uh, these are going to be all of our different links. And for this particular one, um, we're going to be putting uh, CSS files into this to make this graphically more appealing. Uh, so what we're going to do to start that off is we're going to be making a link, rel, rel style sheet. And we're going to make it type text CSS href main CSS so in this case we haven't made the main CSS yet but in doing so it's going to automatically recognize it by this and this is how you import a, a style sheet you can internally import it and that's another lesson you can search it uh, but for this one uh, we're going to be using uh, an imported main CSS so what you want to start off is you're going to be New file. You name the style, file. I'm going to call it main CSS. And if you put the different, the, you put this file in a different folder. You just obviously you just put it like the folder here, slash, like that. But we don't have to worry about that. So now you open up your main CSS, and I already have in my main CSS what I want to change um, the sidebar to. Um, I'm going to explain in more detail once I show you what it looks like after this. So you go back to this, you, uh, you click on this, um, but nothing happens, right? It's because I have not made this a class yet. And a class is always denoted by this period. This period here, here, all the way down this page here. And in this case, um, the UL is where the class is going to be. So this is the UL here, and right here, and here, and here. But the different the different pieces of this is, this are, the A here stands for um, a link, and the A, and then this hover right here, stands for when it's hovered over. So the hover would be in this case, this light green. Okay. Um, so this this L I right here, the it's a list item. I'm telling it to float left to the left page over here, and then um, this right here positions the actual links. So you open up your sidebar, and then we're going to create the class L side bar. So now you click on that, and it looks beautiful. So basically, we go back to the main CSS here, and we look this over, and the position right here, this is where it's positioning. So my, my position is relative to the page. So when I go back to here, this is the horizontal. So it'd be relative up here. If you had something else on the page, it would, it would stay right there. Uh, different tutorials will show you how to do that. Um, so if we go back to the HTML, um, the top, this shows how much space you want um, in the top for the rel for the relative. And then the left, th these, are all, these are all relative links here, the positioning. So the top would be 0, left 10, so that's kind of like a margin. But it, do it doesn't stay margin inside the, the page. It stays within, within, within its own area. So then the margin, the top, and the left would be 0. You can change this upon what your website would be. Um, padding left zero pixels. These are these are similar to the same, but this just denotes pixels. 
uh, list style this is important if we if we didn't change the list style um, it would show little dots right here so you want to make sure your list style is none the border bottom you don't want to have a border around bottom here it's dependent upon what you want um, the float right here this tells at what, what side of the page you want it to float to so if you go float right it would change to the right side vice versa you can make it left or right depending on where you want it um, the width actually is how wide the um, how wide the link is going to be so I could change the width that depends on what you want um, and then this the L, the um, list item is the list item here you need to have that change with the actual L sidebar um, and then the L sidebar A is the link um, that is within here and then the display is block because you want the the list to be in um, a vertical fashion so it would be a block and then you um, do display inline if you want it horizontal as I will in the next minute or so um, background color self-explanatory you just put in the uh, the hex numbers padding text decoration none color this is the color of the um, the link and uh, text align center and this this right here is the same down here but the background color changes because you want this color to be when it rolls over um, and then I'm not sure if you can see it down here but there's a center and text decoration none this is important because then it won't have underline and it won't have the blue so this is the um, horizontal CSS right here um, everything's pretty much the same except for the inline style here and the inline style here um, and we go to the sidebar here it doesn't look like we want it to be but it's going to turn out the way we want it to be when we preview in Firefox as you can see here it works just perfectly everything that we did today can be found on this website in full textual tutorials Please subscribe and thank you.